Nollywood is big business in Africa. They are the creators of Nigerian movies whose popularity and fame has spread fast across the continent. Online streaming platform Netflix and UNESCO are now seeking a breakthrough for African cinema. Our correspondent, Louisa Alenayi, reports on how the two organizations are giving a platform to new voices. The rise of streaming platforms is redefining the Nigerian film industry, better known as Nollywood. For years, Nigerians relied on traditional TV networks to enjoy the latest releases. But with the advent of streaming platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime, the way Nigerians consume Nollywood content is changing. These platforms also provide a new avenue for filmmakers to showcase their talent and creativity and to tell stories that may have earlier gone untold. I think that um, with the lot of streaming platforms that we have today, producers are now able to have their films directly online without even looking for marketers to do that. Unlike before where you have to finish producing your film, you get a marketer either to sell to that marketer outrightly or you kind of strike a bargain. Now people have platforms on their own. You can just go on YouTube and then just create a platform and boom, you're there. You can also approach Netflix and the world is seen everything about your film, you know, at one go. And it's like a one-stop shop now. And so for me, I think that, you know, the most uh, streaming platform that we have, especially when it has to do with the online platform, it has actually opened the Nollywood industry to the other parts of the world. According to a report by Price Waterhouse Coopers, with an estimated revenue of $590 million annually, Nollywood produces over 2,500 films every year. A typical film budget ranges from $20,000 to $50,000. The industry provides employment for over 1 million people. Streaming platforms have disrupted the theatrical release model. The COVID-19 pandemic worsened the trend. Many theatres have closed as more and more people are choosing to stay at home and watch content on OTT platforms. The cinema experience is fun, maybe if I have friends and want to do a hangout, but I think I prefer sitting in my comfort zone watching it, my Netflix here. Yeah. Some believe that this new opportunity comes with new challenges. Titles that are actually considered premium and you know, the kind of titles that we are all waiting to see, the likes of the Matrix and the likes of the Avengers and all of that, will be made available to streaming platforms in like, a couple of weeks after cinema release. So that by itself would, um, in a way, affect the cinema culture. And like I have said before, is this, is, is, is the whole streaming culture going to affect the theater and cinema thing? Yes, it will. It's already affecting it, but maybe not significantly yet. But over time, it will definitely affect that market. While it is uncertain what the future holds for cinemas, it is clear that streaming platforms will continue to play a very essential role in the way movies are distributed and consumed, as the Nigeria movie industry is undergoing a significant transformation. From Lagos, Nigeria, Louisa Olani, we on World is One.